Hey, good afternoon everybody. It is September 12th, 2022. We are in the New Testament and we are reading from the book of Luke. We're going to read chapter 8, verse 22 to 56 today. Alright. So we said Luke was is the physician, the, the reporter, the detective, basically everything. He's relating all his details. He's got multiple sources for it, it seems like. Now, in this case, he's moving towards things that the disciples would have known. So he had access to, to a, a handful of disciples. He starts off in this section talking about Jesus calming the seas. So the, all the disciples are on the boat, so he gets that idea that, that they were impressed that, that when they woke Jesus up in the storm, Jesus rebuked the storm, and the storm stopped immediately. So, so he is, Jesus is Lord over the elements. They moved to a demon-possessed person. Uh, let's see, Matthew, I believe, said there were a couple there. Here in Luke, what, you know, he gives us what they can all agree on. They can all agree that Jesus talked to this guy. He was legion. He sent the, dis the, the evil spirit out of it and went into the pigs. And then if we go, if we were in the first century and went to this place, they would recognize this story. Uh, he talks about raising a... a, a dead child now in this case Jesus sends everybody out except for Peter James and John now we know James gets martyred very quickly after Jesus's death so that probably tells us that John and Peter were, were part of Luke's sources it's also an event that that people would have remembered hey this girl died and Jesus came and she was restored. So let's go ahead and we're going to read chapter 8 in Luke, verse 22 to 56. Now it happened on a certain day that he got into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side of the lake. And they launched out. But as they sailed, he fell asleep, and a windstorm came down in the lake, and they were filling with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased and there was a calm but he said to them where is your faith and they were afraid and marveled saying to one another who can this be for he commands even the winds and water and they obey him then they sailed to the country of the Gadarians, which is opposite galilee and when he stepped out on the land there met him a certain man from the city who had demons for a long time and he wore no clothes nor did he live in a house but in the tombs when he saw Jesus, he cried out, fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man, for it had, been, for it had often seized him, and he was kept under guard, bound with chains and shackles, and he broke the bonds and was driven by the demon into the wilderness. Jesus asked him, saying, What is your name? And he said, A legion, because many demons had entered him, and they begged him that he would not command them to go out into the abyss. Now a herd of many swine were feeding there on the mountain, so they begged him that he would permit them to enter them, and he permitted them. Then the demons went out of the man and entered the swine, and the herd ran violently down the steep place into the lake and drowned. When those who fed them saw what had happened, they fled and told it in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what had happened and came to Jesus and found the man from whom the demons had departed sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. They also who had seen it told him by the, what means... He who had been demon-possessed was healed. Then the whole multitude of, of the surrounding region of the Gerdarians asked him to depart from them, for they were seized with great fear. And he got into the boat and returned. Now the man from whom the demons had departed begged him that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your own house and tell what great things God has done for you. And he went his way and proclaimed throughout the whole city what great things Jesus had done for him. So it was when Jesus returned that the multitude welcomed him, for they were all waiting for him. And behold, there came a man named Jarius, and he was a ruler of the synagogue. And he fell down at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house, for he had an only daughter about twelve years of age, and she was dying. But as he went, the multitude thronged him. Now a woman, having a flow of blood for twelve years, who had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any, came from behind and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her flow of blood stopped. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied it, Peter and those with him said, Master, the multitude throng and press you, and you say, Who touched me? 
But Jesus said, Somebody touched me, before I perceived power going out from me. And when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared to him in the presence of all the people the reason she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said to her, Daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. While he was still speaking, someone came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Do not be afraid. Only believe, and she will be made well. When he came into the house, he permitted no one to go in except Peter, James, and John, and the father and mother of the girl. Now all wept and mourned for her, but he said, Do not weep, she is not dead but sleeping. And they ridiculed him, knowing that she was dead. But he put them all outside, took her by the hand, and calling, saying, Little girl, arise. Then her spirit returned, and she arose immediately. And he commanded that she be given something to eat, and her parents were astonished. But he charged them to tell no one what had happened. May God bless the reading of his word, and may God bless you. Bye.